Hello friends, I welcome you to my YouTube channel MacPM. In today's video, we will solve a numerical problem. Uh, uh, let's read out the problem. Find the force exerted by jet of water of uh, 100 mm diameter on a stationary flat plate when the jet strikes the plate normally with a velocity of 30 meter per second. So let's write the values which are given. Diameter of the jet is given as D is equal to 100 mm which is equal to because all the other quantities are given in the meter and second see velocity is given in meter per second so we have to convert all the value in same unit so we can write it as 100 upon 1000 meter which will be equal to 0.1 meter is the diameter of this jet this diameter now uh, velocity of the jet is also given v is given as 30 meter per second and another thing you see that the fluid is given as water so what are the wet, uh, density of water rho is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube this is the density of water which we we are expected to remember now we have these values now we have to calculate the force exerted by this jet on this vertical fixed plate so what will be the force so let's see the force is equal to rate of change if you remember the formula you can directly write it formula but if you don't remember then you can find out the formula from here rate of change of momentum which will be equal to initial momentum minus final momentum divided by time so it will be mass into velocity m1 v1 minus m2 is to v2 final mass into final velocity divided by time so mass divided by time will be mass flow rate and initial and final mass are same because flow rate from this jet is constant so m v1 minus m v2 divided by t which will be equal to m by t v1 minus v2 which will be equal to mass flow rate which we write as m dot v1 minus v2 now see that mass flow rate what is mass flow rate mass we know that mass is density into volume or we can write it as density into area into length volume can be written as area into length area of this jet into length of this jet but we have to find mass flow rate m dot so it can be divided by uh, time because m dot is m by t so we can divide it by t so it will become rho a and length by time is velocity so m dot will become rho a v so f will become rho a v into v1 minus v2 now we are finding the force this plate is symmetrical so vertical force will be zero but what will be the horizontal force horizontal force is ff is rho a v v1 minus v2 what is v1 initial velocity in horizontal direction is v what is the final velocity in horizontal direction there is no fluid moving in horizontal direction after striking this plate so v2 will become zero so it will become rho a v square we can put all the values we have know we have written so rho is thousand into a which is 5 by 4 d square for circular cross section now uh, v is v is 30 meter per second so 32 square now we can calculate 5 by 4 d square area is equal to 5 by 4 into point what is the diameter diameter is 0.1 meter so 0.1 d square pi is 3.14 if you put all the values then you will find area is equal to 0 0.0078 by 4 meter square okay so you can uh, and 30 to the square is 
30 into 30 is equal to 900 so we can put the values so f will be 1000 into 1007854 into 900 if you multiply all these values then you will find 7068 newton so this is the value of force exerted by this jet on this plate okay so i hope you understand how to find this uh, value of force if you understand this problem then please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching